and um, be, be sure that you choose one of these conversations that is interesting because you're going to use it throughout the course and you will get bored with it if it's not interesting. And throughout the course, I made assignments for them to do out of class that parallel what we were studying in class that had them analyze the speech that they themselves had recorded from people they knew um, that would illustrate things we were talking about in the class. And I changed the class to start with something nobody knew anything about because I was so tired of the grammar queens coming in and telling everybody everything they knew about grammar. I started out with something called deictic markers, which is a concept that Fillmore, Chuck Fillmore introduced uh, many years ago, having to do with whether things are here or there, whether they're close to the speaker or away from the speaker. And there's a series of them that um, he, uh, he describes and that Evelyn Hatch later um, adapted for teachers. And since everybody um, was unfamiliar with these terms and concepts, they all started from ground zero. And there were no right answers because we had to figure this out together. But at the end of the period, they submitted a two-page paper of analysis along with a copy of their uh, just ordinary spelling transcription. The next, um, the next um, assignment was for the verb phrase. Very, very central to English structure, and I thought that was something they could grapple with and deal with aspect and tense. Um, and uh, irregular forms, mis, um, different um, non-standard forms. And the third was sentence patterns, and the last was a broad phonetic transcription. I strongly believe that this introductory course should include an elementary introduction to the sound system of English. And I think this ex will extend to our high school students, too. We just can't talk about Southern English without talking about how it sounds. We cannot talk about the, the distinctions of Southern English without addressing the ah and the postvocalic r, r. The, um, the, the fight, the fight, the five, the, um, it's very hard for me to switch back to my southern dialect in this context, I will admit to that. Uh, we can't, uh, we have trouble um, talking about the sounds unless we have some symbols for illustrating them, as in ride, the southern, uh, the southern I, and um, as in the thing we ride in, the car. Um, at the end of the course, I had them look at um, some written text because I wanted them to um, examine the distinction between spoken and written English, and I let them do this of their choice. Very interesting um, choices. Two to five pages of written text. A Volkswagen manual produced some of the most interesting analysis. And a comparison between two um, elementary texts uh, for different grade levels. Uh, produced some interesting, um, but that that was just um, rap music was another thing. Um, you just get all kinds of creative uh, choices from students, and had them analyze morphology and sentence patterns primarily in that. In the meantime, we were doing in class a rigorous study of basic language structure systems and terminology. This is a difficult course, and we just need to stop being embarrassed about having to ask people to learn the terminology and the concepts in this field. They do it in physics and algebra, and history and mathematics. Uh, we just got to do it for, for um, hours also. The objections, of course, how can we cover everything? I always think of a bed sheet when I hear this uh, objection, but how can we cover everything if we're doing this hands-on uh, approach to teaching? We have to set priorities. We have to do that in everything we teach. And the other um, objection will be, well, the state standards are looming over us. How can we address them? We have to meet them. And here I would refer you again to the Houseman book. Um, we can do that at the same time. Moving on to the second need, the collaborative curricula for the schools that I think we need. This is the one that I 
think is most exciting to think, uh, for us to think about. Um, here I would uh, refer you to the Mulder book. Uh, because the dollar is so weak now, it probably cost half a month's salary. But um, there are two volumes um, of it, and each volume has curricula for two years of high school. Volume one has freshman, sophomore high school, and volume two has um, uh, junior and senior. And there's a CD that goes with it. It's very up to date, very multimedia. You can listen to the sounds. You can, um, I think there are even exercises in it where you can produce the sounds. Um, I think we need to consider a southern states text. I think the time is right to um, say the South has risen again, and that uh, as Michael Montgomery was talking about during the Confederate War, when people were publishing their own um, school books, maybe we could do, maybe we should ought to do that again. Um, <clears throat> there are all kinds of logistical problems to that, and it may be that a southern states um, language language arts curriculum is not feasible. It may just be one state where there's a core of teachers and university personnel who can work together. But I think this conference illustrates that the networks are already there. And um, as you will hear from Walt Wolfram, and as you've already heard from Kirk um, just before me, that the materials we are beginning to excuse me, we're beginning to collect, and we just need um, to work long and hard on uh, putting them down into something teachers can use on Monday morning, because um, that is an ever-writing, um, you can't create your, new, your uh, new teaching material for every single day. Uh, I've been there, no, I know that. Um, in California, which is in a great slew of despond, and we'll probably never get to this in my lifetime, um, a single course um, would work best. We could get that into um, the state requirements, which are already strong, four years of English required of every high school student. And if we could make one of those years on language structure, that would do it. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, it might be that a handbook format uh, to begin with would work best. Um, if good people put their heads together on this, we can come up with something. And I want to suggest that the frame for such materials should be register and code switching. If I could 